So here we have the kit that you'll get if you ask for an XF100 camera and boom, we've got the camera in its flight case here, nice and snug. We've got the boom and a microphone and the Manfrotto tripod. And everything starts from the tripod. So when we, when we arrive at the location, we work out where do we want the shot to be and then we work out where we put the, the tripod. So we'll just say that we're going to shoot something um, against this wall here and I think the camera tripod should sit here. So I take the tripod and I unzip it. This is the tripod here. And remember, a tidy set is a safe set. So you always make sure we put that somewhere safe so nobody trips over it. We turn this upside down and we place it down here. And somebody's left these clips out. So we're just going to unclip them back again. The first clips that we take out are the two B clips on the bottom here, the two small clips. So one, two, place it down on the ground, spread the legs out. You might find that somebody's been mucking about with these, but this is as wide as it should be and just check that they're tight and nice and stable. Let's assume that we're going to be shooting somebody whose eyes, eye light line is a bit about this height, so we'll need the camera up about here. So just take that clip off, that clip off, and that clip off. There's another three down there, but we'll just use these just now. Pull it up like that. Clip, 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 and there's our tripod setting where we want it to be. All right. Okay, so we've got the tripod uh, sitting on the ground, but we're not sure if it's level or not, and the tripod has to be level. So we've got a spirit level in the tripod, which is around here. I'll just show you it there, Chris. As you can see, the spirit, spirit level is a bubble uh, with a circle. We control this by this black knob down here. We just untighten that so that it's moving, and then we go and look right down there, line it up and tighten it, and that's us. And whatever position that is in, that will now be level, okay? So leave the tripod there just now, and then we'll go to the camera. And the camera's in its flight case. Whenever you're going from one location to another, you keep the camera in the flight case for obvious reasons. The camera's worth about £2,700 each, and we don't want to lose any of them. So inside the flight case, we've got the XF100 instruction manual. Anything you need to know should be in there. So please have a look in here first and um, acquaint yourself with it as well. Have a read of it. In here, we've got a card reader. And if you come in close and see this, please. We've got a wee strap. We've got a cable for connecting it and a cloth for keeping it clean. All right. And we've got the headphones and that's our kit. So we take the camera out. The camera's quite robust. This is made of the same stuff that they make crash helmets out of, but it's, it's uh, not to be treated um, badly. So always make sure that you get someone who's got it, they're holding it gently and they're holding it like this. You hold it like you were holding a, a door. So here's the camera. The first thing we do is we're gonna put the shoe on the camera. And the shoe, is kept in the tripod. So the tripod always should have the shoe on it. We loosen this little bolt here and we pull out this red button here and there is the shoe. And as you can see, the shoe has got a little brass stud and a little aluminium screw there. And they go into the little hole there and the bolt hole there. So I'll just link them up. It's a wee bit fiddly this, but if you manage, you should be all right. Screw it in, we always make sure we've got a penny in our pocket. We just tighten that up gently, not too bad. And as you'll see, there's a chamfer on that side and a chamfer on that side. And that's how we know that's facing to the front and we know that that's on the right way. We then take it, chamfer side, we go in here and we just click it in there. We hold this like that, we go down to this side and we tighten up that little apostrophe looking bolt there and then it's nice and safe it's not going to fall off okay next thing we do is we take the lens cover off and we put it somewhere safe which is in here so here's the battery here i take the battery out 
Now it's very handy uh, part of the battery. There's a little dial on the side. If you press this button here, check, and it tells you if it's um, fully charged or not. So we're three out of four charges, so we're fine. Okay. The battery has two uh, metal uh, clips on the bottom here, and that shows you that that's the bottom of the battery. So we bring the battery up here. We pull this up a bit gently, and we slip the battery in at a slight angle and click it down. And we know that the battery is in place when we hear that little click. This little button here is the button you press to get the battery out. So I'll put it back in, click, and that's us. Now we've got the battery on. These are the controls of the camera. It's a very advanced camera. It's a fully manual camera. Uh, so you've got zoom, you've got focus, you've got autofocus, manual focus, you've got iris, you've got gain, you've got the shutter, you've got white balance, you set white balance here. You've got zebra stripes here. You've got power save there. All you need to worry about at the moment is the fact that this one down here says full auto. And you push that one there to full auto. And if you have that at full auto, then the entire camera is operating as an automatic camera. And believe you me, when you first use this camera, that's what you want to do. Okay? The camera has a menu in here. And we've turned the camera on by this switch here. And on it goes. There we are. The first thing that we have to check with the camera is that the flash card is empty. So we go to the menu button here, we press menu, we go down to other functions, we click across this little toggle bar and go right down to the bottom. One more. Where are you? initialized media. We click on that and it tells us there's flash card A. This will erase all the data on the card. Yes, we want to do that right at the beginning. We press OK. We're initializing and now the card is empty, which is why you should always download your work before you put the camera back because the first thing the person bringing it out will do is clear the card. Press your menu button and that's us fine. So we've got an empty card that's ready for all our work. All right. Next thing we think about is sound. Now we've got this in full auto here, but we don't want to use full automatic sound. There's a microphone here and it's not very good. And if you just use the, the uh, external microphone, internal microphone, which is what this is, the sound won't be very good. So at this point, we're going to use the XLR channel one. And it's there. So we get a boom. Put this away. This is an XLR cable. It's quite robust. You should always try and use sound from an external XLR mic because the worst thing about student videos is when the sound doesn't work too well. All right. So we're going here, we're going to use channel one. So I'm just going to plug it in there to channel one. And then I'm going to get this. And I'll place that there because I don't want to put that in the ground. And I turn the camera around and I set, get the sound set up correct. Now because this is channel one and this is channel two, I don't want to use channel two at all. All right. So I'm going to put that on external there. And because it's external and there's nothing plugged in to channel two, it's now dead. This is the important one. I'm going to put that to automatic. I'm going to put that one to mic and 48 volts for phantom power. And I'm going to put this one to channel one external. So it's external, mic, 48 volts and automatic. Automatic is very good because it's an automatic gain, which means we won't get distortion when the, the sound goes a bit high. All right. And if we look here and you can see me talking, you can see that the channels are working. And then take the headphones out of here and I plug them in. And the headphones plug in at the bottom here. Let's get this off. You can see there's a yellow, a yellow socket there. That's the AV socket. There's a power socket there. We don't want either of those. We want the wee silver socket. And this goes in here and that's the headphones. All right. We then ensure that the sound person puts the headphones on, takes the microphone and just touches it like that. 
and yes, the microphone is working fine, and you can see it when we are. We then move this up like this. Now, if we had a big, uh, big shot to do, we'd ensure that we unscrewed this, pulled it out like that, then tightened it, and we'd make sure that the sound person kept nice and tidy and kept all the cables out of the way, stood on one side of the camera, and ensured that that was being pointed at the person. This operates like a torch. It's like a torch beam. So you point it like you would tighten a torch at a person's mouth. That's what we're trying to do. And that's how that works. Maybe I could ask my glamorous assistant, Brian, to come in and be my sound operator now. Thank you very much, Brian. So if you take this, ensure that you've got that. So you know the sound operator. Thank you very much. So here we are. Now, Brian, the first thing we want to do, and this is, we get the handle here. We loosen this bolt, very gently pull this up. I'm right, I'm left-handed, but we'll make this for a, a, a right-handed person. This is now out here in horizontal parallel to the floor. Very, very important. You never, never pan up and down unless you loosen this bolt here. Look, you pull it that way and you do this and that and then tighten it. This and that and then tighten it. Okay? Never push it up or down because you will break the aluminium knurls on the, the little um, bolt there. It's a knurled bolt and it really needs to be treated very, very gently. So there we go. We can pan from side to side. We can pan up and down. And there we are. We line the shot up by using the wide and tight there, wide. And in and out. And essentially, that's us. The camera is controlled by this button here, which is the on off button. When we framed up our shot, we press the button, the red light comes on. If we framed the shot properly, we ask the person, why don't I walk and see? I'll go and do it. So, am I in shot okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the time has come, the walrus said, to talk of many things, of shoes and ships and sealing wax and cabbages and kings. Let's check if that recorded. We go to here. We switch off. We turn this to media. We automatically see the shot that we've just taken. This then, these, these three here, buttons here then become like a little um, video recorder here. We press play, which is number nine, and we're playing. And I ask Brian, can he hear the sound? Can yes, I can. Right, I'm not in the shot yet, but it's obviously recording okay. We'll wait till I get into the shot. There we are. And we can see that it's working fine, even though we got the cable in shot, but who's caring about it? So we've checked that. We click this back to camera, and there we are, and we're ready to roll. So that's us, we've got our shot, we make sure that our camera is switched off, we take the headphones out, you take those Brian, we unplug the XLR socket, we take that, if you can see to those please. We take the battery out by pressing that. I'll put the battery back in the box. Unclip that, clip that back in. Camera down. Untighten this little button here. Press the red switch and there we have it. Whatever you do, when you take the camera off, make sure you take the shoe off because the shoe lives on the tripod. We slacken it off. Pop the shoe back on. This way. Take that up. That stays there, not on the camera. Whatever you do, make sure you put camera five back into the box of camera five. Oh, 
there. There we go. Everything's there. Check. Bob's your uncle. Safe as houses. And that's us. The tripod goes back in its box the right way around. You ensure that you've got your cable uh, tied up and you put the carry case back in the boom. And that's the XF100 camera kit. All the best.